does what we intend it to do. This is an example of uh, integration that, that uh, saves an object to some kind of database or yeah, with uh, using a, a, a data access object and then uh, retrieves it, retrieves the number of customers and uh, proves that uh, it is increased. So an integration test is something that uh, uh, you may run end to end uh, and uh, it uh, exercises uh, the boundaries uh, of your system while unit tests do uh, different things. They uh, run within your system and uh, analyze one piece of it and prove that it does what you mean, mean to do. Customer tests are a third kind of test and their main purpose is to make sure that you understand the domain logic that your customer wants you to implement. So when uh, you implement the integration test and make sure that we build that the system right, the customer test makes sure we build the right system, the one that our customer needs. So we have a chat with him or her and uh, we uh, obtain uh, examples. The examples can be mm, represented in uh, however you want. So this is an example. You have a key input and an expected output. So you know it's uh, expected because there are parameters. So these are three inputs and one output. And this uh, is a business case that's uh, absolutely non obvious and very easy to get wrong. With. So the purpose here is to make sure that we understand what the customer wants. We can uh, take the thing that we draw at the whiteboard and uh, turn it into a table that can be executed uh, automatically. This is uh, better because uh, it proves that uh, uh, our system uh, really implements this logic and uh, enables the customer to easily give a new example, try new corners on a domain that we are building for him or her. Now test driven development. This is our user story today, your user story today. As a developer, I want to learn PDP so that I can write clean code that works.